Good evening, the state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast took place the conference titled The Artsakh Issue Today. We fight for our holy land, ridiculous nuns. So she has been under Azerbaijani missile strike at night. Armenian forces destroyed a group of Nahijavan special forces with their commander. The first group of volunteers from Abkhazia left for Artsakh. The torrential downpour in Hakari, Western Armenia turned into a mud flow. The musicians continued to support Artsakh with charity concerts. On November 7, a conference entitled The Artsakh Issue Today took place. The Prime Minister of the Republic of Western Armenia, Said Amalikian, made an opening speech at the conference. Then President Armen Akabramian presented the topic of the conference in more detail. In the first part of the conference, the President awarded Colonels Misha Tadevosyan, Hamik Sayadian, as well as Harutyun Hakopian, Aramaish Chovishan, who were present at the conference. They were awarded with the Sword Medal of Western Armenia. Immediately after the ceremony, the military left for the front line. In the second part of the conference, the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armen Akabramian, presented and analyzed the consequences of the current war situation in Artsakh, showing that it is an integral part of the Armenian issue, noting that at present it is more than necessary to present the general legal package of the Armenian issue to the international community. At the end of the conference, the President answered the questions of the participants and exchange of constructive thoughts and ideas too. Place. We want a diplomatic solution. We want to emerge victorious from this war. Rudekus Nunes, chief advisor to the president of the Artsakh Republic, ambassador extraordinary and plenipotentiary, stated this in a telephone conversation with Mahmoud.am, referring to the Turkish Azerbaijani terrorist attacks against Artsakh. According to him, in this war, the Armenian people are fighting against eight states, moreover, mercenaries are involved who fight with modern weapons that are not even allowed. We have been at war for 40 days. We are fighting against demonic forces. We will fight till the end. We are fighting for our homeland, our holy land. Our sense right to self-determination is a priority for all of us. We must secure our victory on the battlefield, mentioned his notes. Overnight November 6 to 7, the situation in the Artsakh's peaceful settlements has been relatively calm. The State Service for Emergency Situations reports. After midnight, the relatively calm situation has been maintained in the capital Stepanakert and other cities, except for Shushi. Shushi has been under regular missile strike, the statement says. Armenian forces destroyed Colonel Teheran Mansimov on the Hadrut front of Artsakh. Chief Commissioner for Diaspora Affairs Zara Sinanya wrote about this on his Facebook page. This refers to the person who a few days ago moved with his special forces from Nakhijevan to continental Azerbaijan to fight against the Armenian forces. He was commander of the Nakhijevan troops during the Turkish-Azerbaijani military exercises in August. The first group of Armenian volunteers from Abkhazia headed to Artsakh. This is what assistant to the president of Abkhazia for international relations, Ahra Avizba, posted on his Facebook page. Every ethnic Armenian has the right to defend his homeland. Thus, the first Hamshan group of Armenian volunteers from Abkhazia is leaving for the front. May God be with every one of them, Avizba wrote. Heavy rains have caused flooding in the province of Hakari, Western Armenia. The floods damaged the bridges of the Semdin Li Derejik Highway and they are partially collapsed. The highway was closed for the traffic and was reopened three hours later due to the efforts of the road workers. During these days of the Artsakh War, various cultural institutions and artists came up with numerous initiatives in support of the soldiers and officers on the front line. Very remarkable charity open air concert will take place on November 8 near the Saint Anna and Saint Catholic churches in the capital, where our public will have the opportunity to listen to the solists of the Armenian National Philharmonic Orchestra, Hover Choir, and other famous singers. This association of our famous musicians and performers has one goal to donate all the proceeds of the charity concert to the Soldiers Insurance Fund. Now let us represent your attention a song by Masung Ensemble. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.